Have you ever thought about a seed? Good seeds are little things that if planted at the right time, the right place, and are tended to, become huge blessings down the road. Whatever seeds you're sowing today, seeds for your future, for your family, for your faith, or for actual food, you're at the right place. Welcome to the Sowing Seeds Podcast. Now, here's your host who once nicknamed his Java Chip Frappuccino Church so he could say he went to church nearly every day, Matt Miller. Nothing grows on the mountaintop. I was blessed to have an opportunity to go to school at the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado from 1985 until 1989 when I graduated. And every morning I was able to wake up during those four years and see the beautiful Colorado Rockies literally right outside my window. Well, one thing that I saw and I learned along the way and I've learned in my couple of decades of business is that growth occurs in the valleys. It doesn't occur on the mountaintop. In fact, if you look at the Rocky Mountains or you look at the top of any mountain for that matter, it's rock, it's barren, there's virtually nothing growing there. But if you look down in the valley, the vegetation is lush, the trees are everywhere, animals of all types live and roam. Well, it's the same with us in our lives. Growth occurs in the valleys. It doesn't occur at the mountaintop. And I believe that one of the reasons why God has us go between mountaintop and valley type experiences in our life is we start to think and read our press clippings when we're on the mountaintop and we stop learning and we stop growing. So he's got to take us back down into the valley for a while so that we can learn some more and so that we can grow some more as people. I know for me, I was kind of on top of the world flying airplanes for, you know, almost a decade. And when I got out of the service and then some things happened in the corporate world that really knocked me down multiple notches, I had to go through several years of valley experience, especially when it came to finances. See, some decisions that were made at my job ended up, and the quota that was assigned to me in the book of business that I had and could realistically build really, really, really hurt and took us into a deep, deep, deep valley experience. In fact, it got so bad that I got turned down for a payday loan at one point along the way. We went to consumer credit counseling services to get our credit card interest rates cut to zero. We were in a bad, bad, bad place. But I look back today, having worked our way out of that, and I realize that God needed me to go through those experiences to humble me, but so that I could learn and I could also empathize with those that I was meant to lead on our franchise team and with others that I've come across in my church and in my community. See, because I've been there. I've done that. I've worked and clawed my way out. And so instead of talking theory, I can provide hope, I can provide encouragement, and I can provide mentorship and coaching to others because I figured out a way to work my way out of that hole. And if I could do it, they could do it too. Thank you for listening to the Sowing Seeds Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave us a five-star review in iTunes or your podcast player of choice. 
So until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.